Hello there! So for today I thought I should go out of my comfort zone and make a voiceover video explaining my illustration process as well as the materials that I'm using. I'm painting here a delicious ramen bowl. What I'm usually doing is starting with a simple sketch on a plain copy paper, which later on I'm transferring onto special watercolor paper. But specifically for this illustration, I'm using Canson Mixed Media. And it really wasn't the brightest idea using this paper because it's really, really textured and it makes it very difficult to show the details. But I have to go with it for the time being. And I'm usually doing the transfer with the help of a light box, but I haven't filmed this part of the process because it requires a lot of concentration and no paper, for me at least. And I thought it really doesn't make sense, since you would all just see my head in the camera all the time. So once I'm done with the sketch, my favorite part starts, and that's the watercolor part. I've listed all the watercolor brands that I'm using in the description box below. So I'm starting with very light watercolor washes, just to block the main elements of the illustration and to have an idea on the color palette that I'm gonna use. I'm not really starting with a specific element, I'm working more chaotically on the paper, but the main rule that I'm following and which really works for me is starting with the most difficult part. This is in case I'm making a huge mistake so I don't have to rework the entire illustration. And the most difficult part here were the noodles. Then I'm continuing with the bigger textured areas on the ingredients like the chicken meat, the egg yolks and the green veggies. As you can see I've tried giving a smoother texture to the mushrooms just to have a bit of a contrast between them and the other textured ingredients like the noodles and the meat. The next step is finishing the meat tones for the soup. And you'll see that later on I'm adding also the shadows and the darkest areas. And here I was trying to block the color of the chopsticks. In the beginning I wanted them in a nude color, but then I thought of a more orange tone, but I was afraid it will clash with the color of the soup, so I decided to have them in ebony. So once all the mid-tones and the shadows are done, I'm moving to the ramen bowl. And I really think the cobbled blue makes a great contrast with the colors of the soup here. And as the final step I'm adding the highlights with a gel pen. And we're done! This is how the final illustration looks like guys. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you have a question or suggestions please leave them in the comment box below. Thank you and have a wonderful day! Bye bye!